In New Zealand, we're known for our Kiwi ingenuity. Take horticulture, for example. Our growers develop some of the most amazing practices in the world, and it's grower know-how that takes us into the future. Also, we have a fantastic research organisation in plant and food. But we are now living in extraordinary times. What was the situation before COVID struck will no longer be the situation going forward. Just take one example, international travel. It's reduced to about 5% of what it was before COVID struck. And you have the CE of Qantas saying 2022 or 2023 before we'll return to only 50% of international travel. What does that mean for New Zealand? That means a great reduction in tourism, an enormous reduction in international education, and critically for the primary sector in horticulture, less mobility of international workers, be they skilled workers or less skilled workers. So we're living in very different times and we are not going to go back to pre-COVID days anytime soon. What this means is we've got to back the winners we've got in the economy. We need to make the policy settings right. We need to look after, for example, the stranded workers here, be they from the Pacific Island or anywhere in the world. What we've got to make sure is that everyone in New Zealand has a job and we need the policy settings to achieve that. That is what we're working on the government to achieve at this time.